Okay, so this is 6-3, page 237, for those of you that were absent. This is really about um, models, which uh, will help some students, but you know others, it may not. So this first page, I'm really not worried about, well, actually, let's look at this here for a second, yeah. Um, it says uh, Chris paid $3.60 for three colored pens. Each pen costs the same amount. How much did uh, each pen cost? Solve it any way you choose. I think the most obvious way would be to take 360 and divide it by three. Most of you should be able to do this problem. Make sure you guys write down what I'm writing down on these, on these sheets here. So three goes into three once. There's nothing left over. Bring down the six and make sure you, the decimal goes straight up. Always remember to bring the decimal straight up. And so three goes into six twice. Again, there's nothing left over. Don't just ignore that zero. You have to bring it down and you have to um, factor that in. Three goes into zero. Well, it doesn't. And so the question is, how much did each pen cost? So our answer here is a dollar amount. And so you would write $1.20 just as I have it here. You wouldn't write 1.2, okay? Although I think most people would know that probably means $1.20. Of course, it, it might mean, um, 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 well, let's see, no, I'm not going to say that. Um, so this is how most people would write $1.20, okay? Okay. Down at the bottom of the page, I'm not worried about, about that. Just put a line through it. Turn to the next page here. They have some pictures of a model. Now, you guys pay attention to what I explain here, and uh, this will help you in the next page that, um, that we'll do. So this top of page 238, one of these squares represents 100. One of these squares, or I, well, I don't know if I'll call it a square, maybe a column, that repre represents 10 or 10 cents if we were talking about money, and each one of these, of course, would represent one. And so it says um, three friends received $2.58 for aluminum cans, so we are talking about money that they had recycled. They decided to share the money equal, equally. How much will each friend get? So this two here, is represented by those large blocks, okay? The, uh, the 50 cents is represented by each one of these, which is 10. Each one of these would be 10 cents. So here's 10, 20, 30, 40. This is 50 cents. I could put 0.50, okay? Right here I could put 2.00 for $2. Okay, and then um, the eight is eight pennies, or point, point zero eight, eight cents. And I'll just draw a line right there. All right. So if we went over here and looked at the two examples they gave us, if we went ahead and did it and solved it, did three into $2.58, what are we going to get? We're going to get 0.86. So um, each, each person is going to get 86 cents. How would you model that? If, this is, if these are tens, here's 10, here's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 cents, plus six more. 86 cents. So that's a model using blocks. Each one of these is 10, and these are all worth a penny. We didn't have any large squares because they, none of them had over a dollar. All right? So bottom of the page, not worried about it. Put a line through that. So let's look at uh, guided practice. It says, what, uh, what is a reasonable estimate for $8.24 being divided by 4? Well, I said dollars, but it's 8.24. B. 
being divided by 4. Now, you could actually do the math if you wanted to. I wouldn't because they're asking for a reasonable estimate. Here's, here's what I would do. How many times does 4 go into 8? Five. 2. Four goes into eight twice. Um, now, it says, how was dividing a decimal by a whole number similar to dividing? Oh, I'm sorry. How is a how is dividing a decimal by a whole number similar to dividing a whole number by a whole number? I'm gonna. I know it's kind of confusing, but let me show you what they're talking about. So. Here is 4, that's a whole number, and here is 8, that's a whole number. Let's take the same thing, though, and change it to 4 going into 0.8. Now, we know 4 going into 8, what's the answer? 2, two okay? But 0.8, that's not even 1. It's not 8, it's a much smaller number. Where's the decimal go? Four goes into eight how many times? Two. Look at the difference. This answer is two. This is 0.2 or two tenths. Okay? The numbers are exactly the same. What's different? Just the placement of the decimal. What if it was 0.4, not four, but 0.4 going into eight? Now I put the decimal on the outside. Well, what did I teach you guys yesterday or the day before? I said that. Um, whatever you do on the outside, you do on the inside. You can't divide by a number that has a decimal, so you got to move the decimal over one. And we know the decimal in a whole number is to the far right. Eight has the decimal right there. So if I needed to move the decimal over, what do I have to do? I have to add a zero. So what's this become? This becomes four going into 80. Where's the decimal go? Right there, because this is where it is. How many times does 4 go into 80? Well, 4 goes into 8 twice. Okay, I could subtract at 0, bring down the 0. How many times does 4 go into 0? Zero? 0 times. So the answer is 20. Because think about it. This is 0.4. That's less than 1. In fact, 0.4 is less than a half. If I was to draw... Uh, 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 here's zero and here's one on a number line what would be right here 0.5 well this is what we're talking about we're talking about 0.4 so it's less than a half how many times does that 0.4 fit into 8 well 20 times okay uh, I'm not worried about three here just put a line through it and uh, how nice is that four and five I'm not worried about I told you guys to do the problems on the bottom of the page six seven eight and nine I want you to do those turn the page looking at number ten and again they have a, a model here And it says, Alan is modeling 2.65 divided by 5. How should he exchange the place value blocks so he can make 5 equal shares? Well, um, we, could, we could do the math, I guess. And uh, let's see here. Let's do 2.65 being divided by 5. Well, um, 5 goes into 26, 5 times, that's 25. Got to remember to bring up that decimal, so it's going to be less than 1. And there's 1 left over, bring down the 5. 5 goes into 15 3 times, okay? So 2.65 divided by 5 is 
0.53, okay? So, well, if, uh, if I wrote something like this, a square, I could say that equals 100. Then I could draw a column and say that equals 10. And then I could just draw a little box and say that equals 1. Now, if I had to model 0.53, well, it's not going to be 100 because that would be 1. That would be in the 1's place. So the first digit that I'm going to look at is the five. So how many, how many of these? I would do five. So here's my, I'm not going to do five of these. I'm just going to do one. You guys could do the same thing. Here's one. Here's two. Oh, sorry. Got to move it over here. Here's three. Here's four. And here's five. Okay. So that's 50 cents. Assuming each one is 10 and assuming we're talking about money. And then the next place. So the fives are represented there. And then the three would be the tenths place. And that would be these little boxes here. So one, two, three. And that would be the three represented there. And then I would just put it in parentheses. All right, and if I was to model five equal shares, I would do this five times. But you guys don't need to do that. Just do it once, and I'm happy with that. Okay, you can even just put a little times five. All right. Um, number eleven. It says Abby wants to know the value of n in the equation. 7.913 times n equals 791.3. Well, right away I noticed something. That they have the same numbers. The only difference is, is the decimal place. Ms. Shields, comment or question? Or were you going to say something? Huh? Yeah, the decimal. You noticed that. You guys saw that. So, oh, go ahead, huh? Oh, okay, okay. So, um, well, what do you think the answer is, Ms. Shields? I think it's, um, um, okay, I just had it. You just had it, yeah, brain fart. Miss Pettit, what do you think? You uh, multiply 7.913 um, by 10 to the second. Or 100. Times, now, she, that's interesting. Uh, put up uh, 20 points. She said times 10 to the second. Is this the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, and what she recognized, and several of you recognize, is that uh, we just moved the decimal over two places, and so you knew it had had to be multiplied by a hundred, or as she put it, ten to the second. That's the same thing. And it says, what value for n makes the equation true? Ten to the second or one hundred, which is the same thing. Okay, number twelve. Uh, let's see here. Uh, to find 5.16 divided by 6, you should, you should divide the 1's first or the 10's first. Tenths first. Well, let me set this up here. 5.16 being divided by 6. Well, 6 isn't going to fit into 5, but it will fit into 51. We know the decimal is going to go straight up. I, I'm not quite sure. I haven't looked in the book. I'm not sure what answer they're, they're going to look for. But obviously in this one, as far as I'm concerned, it would be the ones first. So you can just circle the ones first. And that's good enough. All right. Almost done here. Um, 13. Let's see here, there are 264 children going on a field trip. There are five buses. Um, an, are five buses enough if each bus holds 52 children? Tell how you decided. Well, I'll let you guys figure that one out. All right. 
Number 14, Jenny earned this much in six hours and then this much in four hours. And it says, which job did she earn more money per hour? Well, think of it this way. Um, pull a stick here. Miss Hinoza, if I paid you um, $20 an hour for cleaning my yard, how generous of me, and you worked for two hours, how much money would you make? $40, right. But what if I paid you $40 an hour for another job and you only worked like only a half an hour? That's like a quarter. You'd only make $10. So in, in the first example, you made more money that I gave you. You made 40 bucks. In the second verbal example I gave you, uh, you made more money per hour, but you worked a lot less than an hour. So that's kind of what this question is about here. So you need to figure out how much an hour they're making and explain how you found the answer. Okay? And the last one down here. So um, it says, Tia drew the model below for 1.35 divided by 3. Uh, explain the mistake that she made. Well, there's one thing that's really obvious I see. Pull a stick here. Mr. Coggin, what, what's the mistake, the, first, the most obvious mistake that you can see that she made? Uh, Miss Pipkin. Yeah, one of these she shouldn't even done. Okay, I haven't even addressed if these are right, but there should only be three of them. Okay, so if you're going to draw your own model in here, and so let me give you a clue here. I would I would draw a box because boxes would be equal to a, a hundred, and then you could do a column or a stick, and that's going to be equal to ten. And then you could just do a little box, and that's going to equal one. So in here explain the mistake she made and in here draw the correct model okay all right um that's it i don't think this is going to take you guys too long because there isn't a whole lot of problems i i gave you all right so everybody repeat after wait wait shh. so repeat after me say um to whoever is listening, to whoever is listening, I want you to know, I want you to know, I love, I love, math, math, have a wonderful day.